This is Mr. Masonette, and we have a word problem here involving percentage. Now, some word problems require you to find the percentage of like a given fraction or something like that, but this word problem actually provides the percentage, and we have to use that to figure out some other information in the problem. So the problem reads that Jason is 60 inches in height. His brother Brian is 20% taller than Jason. How tall is Brian? Well, the problem pretty much says that Brian is taller than his brother Jason. And the problem states that he is 20% taller than Jason. So all we have to do is figure out what 20% of 60 inches is, and then take that number of inches and then add it on to 60. All right, so let's do this. We're going to start by considering 60 inches as our total for now. And we want to figure out what part of 60 is equivalent to 20 out of 100. Now, here's one way we can think about this problem. Now, we know that 100% is considered the total or the whole, and the number on top is considered the part of the total. And 20 is a part that can fit into its whole five times. So whatever number we have on the top here will also fit into its whole a total of five times. So we could just take 60 and divide that by 5, which is 12. Now that we know that 12 inches is 20% of 60, and we know that Brian is 20% taller than Jason, instead of saying 20% taller than Jason, we can say 12 inches taller than Jason. So we can take this 12 inches and just add it to 60. And 60 plus 12 is 72. So Brian is 72 inches tall. Now, another way that we could have figured out what 20% of 60 is, is by taking 60 and multiplying it by 20% represented as a decimal. And 20% in simplest form as a decimal is 0.2. Because if we were to take this decimal point and move it two spaces to the right, that would give us 20%. So let's go ahead and multiply 0.2 by 60 and see what we come up with. So we can do 2 times 60, which is 120. And there is one number after the decimal, which means our decimal point must go in this position right here. So by multiplying 20% as a decimal by 60, that still gave us 12 inches. So that's another way to determine that Brian is 12 inches taller than Brian. Now let's go back to how we started this problem. Originally, I stated that 20 can go into its total five times, so this numerator must fit into its total five times. But let's say that you weren't able to identify that this number goes into this number five times, and your teacher wanted you to show your work or set up a proportion. Here's another way that you could have solved this problem. So you would leave the numerator blank for now, and you would know that you're finding some part of 60, and you know that it has to be equal to 20%. And 20% written as a fraction is 20 out of 100, as a percent is always out of 100. And then we can just stick a variable here to solve. It doesn't have to be an x. That's just what a lot of people like to use. Now, when you set up a proportion, the first thing that you have to do is cross multiply where you actually have two values. We don't have two values this way, but we have two numbers this way. So we're going to go ahead and multiply 60 by 20. And after multiplying those values together, you have to divide by the number that is across from your variable, in this case, 100. The product of 60 and 20 is 1,200. In this case, we could have just multiplied 6 times 2, which is 12, and then just stick these two zeros at the end of 12. And then we have to divide 1,200 by 100. Now, whenever you have a division problem where both numbers end in zeros, you can just cancel out an equal amount of zeros. So we can go ahead and cancel out this pair of zeros and this pair of zeros, which really leaves us with 12 divided by 1, which is equal to 12. But be careful. A lot of students might write down that the answer is 12 inches. Well, that wouldn't make sense. If Brian was 12 inches tall, that would only be 1 foot in length. So the problem states that Brian is 20% taller than Jason. So we could say that Brian is 
12 inches taller than Jason. And because Jason is 60 inches tall and Brian is 12 inches taller than him, we would add those values together for a total of 72 inches. Now, a different way that we could have approached this problem is to understand that Brian is taller than Jason. So we know that Brian has to be at least 60 inches tall. So Brian is 100% of the height of Jason plus an extra 20%. So another way to say 20% taller than Jason is to say 120% of Jason's height. So what we can do is figure out what 120% of 60 is. And to find the percent of any given number, you can just multiply the given number by the percentage written as its decimal equivalent. To convert any percent into a decimal, you can just put a decimal at the end of the number if there already is not a decimal in that number and move it to place values to the left. So 120% is equal to 1.20 or just 1.2. So let's go ahead and multiply 1.2 0.2 by 60. Now, because we have a zero in this position, we can just drop it straight down and jump to the number six, and six times 12 is 72. And because we have one number after our decimal in the problem, the same must be true in the answer. So we have to put our decimal point right here. So we could say that 120% of 60 is equal to 72 inches.